Welcome everyone to Ruston, Louisiana, home to the Bulldogs of Louisiana Tech, and the fans are in Joe IA Stadium, ready to have a good time. Today, these two squads square off in a Conference USA showdown. As we'll see, the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders taking on the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Louisiana Tech will kick it off and will be underway. Fielded in the end zone, it's Stewart. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The offense set for a first down play. Use the play fake, now to throw. Fires to the middle. That was an eyelash away from being picked off, and that is not the way to set the tone with a near pick on your opening drive. Great coverage, great break on the ball. Had a chance to really make a big play and maybe even take that thing back to the house. But you got to secure the catch. We like to hit people more than we like to catch balls. Wants to throw. It's Batiato. He's got him this time. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. That's a bang-bang play. Three-step slant. They rep this over and over in practice so they can go out and execute it on game day like that. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. They'll run behind the big guys on the right. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That's a great individual play, and I love cornerbacks that don't just take pride in covering guys. I like guys that like to put their face in the fan and affect the running game. This dude is physical, and he impacts the defense because of it. And those guys are really hard to find. A lot of corners, they're smaller. They don't want any part of the physical run game. Nice job sticking his face in there, setting the edge, making the tackle. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him, get in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking left. Makes the grab. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Just a great job by the quarterback, the running back, the offensive line. Sneaky little devils. What do they do? Make it look like pass, sneak in the run, catch you off guard. Great play call by the offense. From the 33, it's first and 10. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense. Great in the tackle for a loss on first down. To throw, it's Batiato. Finds his big tight end. Makes a catch and knock down. Well, a nice completion there, finding the tight end. And what's so beautiful about that is while they didn't get the first, they were able to pick up enough yards now to make the third down manageable, really putting this offense in a good position. Eighth play on this opening drive coming up, and they need a third down conversion. It's a draw. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. You know, this is a running back who wants the ball, and he wants the offense to run through him. Really nice job there on the third down of this opening drive for his offense. I can't wait to see what kind of game this guy's going to have. Just on the edge of the red zone, first and 10 from the 21. He's going to pass. He caught it. He gets it in. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. Do 
you love as a head coach to watch your offense take the field and establish a rhythm and consistency the way they did there. Everything they dialed up was working to perfection. They go 10 plays on the opening drive and cap it off with a touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT makes it 7-0. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Line gets set, first down. They're going to open this drive with a pass. It's complete to the right. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. I don't know if that's the coverage you want to be throwing wide receiver screens against. Oftentimes, you want the receivers to have some access. You want the DBs to be off a couple yards so you can help set up the blocks and give the receiver somewhere to go with it. It's hard to run that against press coverage, and they only picked up a few yards there. Looking to throw, it's Turner. Got his man quickly. Not difficult, not complicated, but early in the game, get in that rhythm. Find that timing throughout the receiver so you're set up for success. Then you go attack deep later on. Trying to pick up a first down. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Catch in the middle, it's Jones. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. And the Bulldogs headed quickly to the line. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Louisiana Tech now has it in the red zone. Give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Quite a bit of work to do on third down from the 23, and this D would love to force a field goal try. From the gun, wants to pass. What a snag by the defense. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. This quarterback was having success throwing on the opening drive in large part because it's a lot harder to throw on third down when the defense is expecting it, like you saw right there. They were ready, had a really good coverage call, and they get the INT. Let's see what the Blue Raider offense can get going. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. The defense coming up big there, and the sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few, and you feel comfortable getting home, and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling, and that's fun to be a defensive coordinator calling the plays. He'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Back to throw. It's Batiato. Makes his connection. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. 
Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Brought down at the 39 after a pickup of 10. It'll be a first down. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. Now they've moved it just inside the 40. First and 10 from the 39. Out of the gun. The running back has it. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Back to pass. It's Batiato. They're setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Trying to make magic on the scramble. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. From the 17-yard line, it's first and 10. From the red zone, looking for a space. Got his man on the right. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Burks is way ahead for about three. It's down at the eight. Make some noise. Get on your feet. Get loud, Bulldog fans. It's third down. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. We've got this third down play to open the quarter. They'll try to get it through the air. Got his man on the outside. He's right there to stop him, but the quick throw and catch enough to give them the first down. Well, they caught the defense off guard with that play right there. Here they are in field goal range, third and short. You know, the odds say it's going to be a run. Instead, they throw it. They get a big play now setting up first and goal. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. Turning to the running game on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
Yeah, and I, and I love running the football down the red zone. You've got to be able to do it. First down, obviously, is the right down to do. But now, then it's the options a little bit more. Second down after that loss of yards play. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Motion from the offense. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And he can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. You've got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense when now they got a, a manageable situation. Trying to slam in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Middle Tennessee. Up and over, Yama will be there into the end zone. And you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. The kickoff team out there getting set. He'll start the return inside his five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Louisiana Tech has it back, and the offense comes out ready to go to work. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. To the ground with the back. Breaks the tackle. Solid gain to get him out close to the 20. Pick up a 5 to the 19. This running back just doesn't go down easy. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not a really huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, yeah, you know what, let his talent do the rest. A third and long coming up here. Looking downfield, it's Turner trying to get to him. He'll get rid of it. It's caught. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Man, what a big catch on third down. Going up, catching the football, understanding where you're at. Now getting a fresh set of downs. Nice play by the receiver. The Bulldogs are in the hurry up. Handoff to the lone back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You see, this is what great defenses do. Great defenses swarm to the football. So when you do miss a tackle, it's not the end of the world. There's another guy right there to wrap him up. Great defenses seem like they got 12 guys on the field. Nice job swarming to the football, engulfing the running back. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Edwards. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing him open. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Pulls it in. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different.
Running back goes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Fights off a defender. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that, start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. To the air. It's Turner. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Yeah, and you don't see very many quarterback hits on screens. You know, the offense wants to bluff real quick and make it look like pass, and then the quarterback's supposed to pop up, look like pass, and quickly get rid of You could tell timing all wrong. It was all jacked up, and that play went absolutely nowhere. He wants to throw it again. Wide open downfield. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Bulldogs. After the score, we'll see if that breathes a little fire into him. And you see it all the time, right? You get that score. You get that energy. The crowd gets involved. And the defense got to get out and get you a stop. But this was step one to getting them back in the ball game. Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT will draw them one point closer to a drive there of 84 yards. And they finish things off with a scoring toss from the 33. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Middle Tennessee offense will go back to work. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is... And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put it on the field, but I got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. Fast motion from the offense. They give it to him again. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Now, that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They move the tight end all over. He'll do it himself. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. This defense really has their hands full, guys. they got to play with great eye discipline because they don't know who's going to be keeping the football in the run game. And that time, you saw the QB. He was able to kind of skirt his way to get some positive yards. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? But jet sweep pass. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. And just went with something very easy, very reliable. Flip it forward, let your receiver do the rest. I only got to get a few yards. Nice job, nice execution. First down. Offense threatening at the 45-yard line on first and 10. Power football with the run. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. 
Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. They're trying to get to it. He'll try to do it himself. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. It makes it really tough on a defense when you got a dynamic quarterback that you can roll out. You bootleg him to the right here. The defense has to now recover quickly, chase the guy out there. Oh, wait, I still got to cover wide receivers down the field. I still got to cover other guys and try to get this guy on the ground. They do a great job on this play. Looking for a man. It's Batiato. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. Well, these 4-3 defensive ends that can get pressure on quarterbacks, they get paid a lot of money in the National Football League, and that's why. When you can get out of your stance and win around the edge, get to the QB, not many guys do it as well as that. The punt team makes its way onto the field. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Here comes the Louisiana Tech offense back onto the field. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. Let's see what they've got on second down. He'll try to pop the draw. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Got a man. It's Davenport. He smashes his way through again. And he gets it done on third down. They move the chains, and they'll mark it at the 44. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. And the Bulldogs want to pick up the tempo. He's looking to throw it. With the catch, it's Crawford. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. Second down coming up. Back to throw, it's Turner. And he'll make the grab along the sideline, but he's not able to get to the first down marker. Went on that outbreaking. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. He'll just keep slinging it. Got it on the outside, it's Jones. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're gonna have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. Louisiana Tech back to the line with a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. Quarterback needs to make a better throw there, incomplete. Offense about to reel off its seventh play of the drive. He's looking for an open man on second down. He's taking the shot. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense.
If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. He'll take a shot. And good coverage and better hands by the defender to knock it down in the end zone. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. The field goal is no good, and they couldn't cut into the lead. It's still a seven-point game. Let's see what the Blue Raider offense can get going. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, though. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. And now on second down for this offense. Scanning the field, it's Batiato. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. Yeah, and a great job by the QB, finding the running back, getting the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. Grabbed on the outside, it's Willis. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position that can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. On second down, they'll take to the air. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Run out of bounds after the long game, but they've got it now first and goal. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Trying to pound it in. And the defense stuffs the run, and the ball will remain at the two. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Timeout. Stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense. Showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Offensively, I think we got to be a little bit more creative at this point. Two plays ago, gain of no yards. Last play, he just gave up a sack. Let's think outside the box. This is a golden opportunity to put a touchdown on the board. It's still third and goal. To the air, it's Batiato. Let's it fly. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. Never a doubt. And that lead grows even bigger. That makes the score. Middle Tennessee, 17. Louisiana Tech, 7. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. 
He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Can't come in half-stepping to tackle this guy. Too much strength and power. He's up to the 25. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Kickoff and kickoff return teams on the field, and we are just about ready to go in the second half. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Louisiana Tech has it back, and the offense comes out ready to go to work. First play from scrimmage, and they'll keep it on the ground. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops, Palmer, and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. First down for your Bulldogs. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. The give to the tailback. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Louisiana Tech pushing the tempo. Dropping back, it's Turner. He's right on target. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Now, I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. After picking up a couple at second and eight, he's looking to throw. Good timing on the quick out. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Nice pitch and catch there from QB to wide receiver. Great job. An out route is all about timing. One, two, three, boom. Break out, throw it to him right now. Great pitch, great catch. The Bulldogs will have it first and ten. He wants to throw. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. This defense has the ability to get pressure on the QB from the edge. And I don't necessarily mean from defensive ends, but from the outside linebackers. These guys get in their sprinter stances, and they come off the ball. That outside linebacker showed you his speed right there. Big first down sack for the defense. Brings up second down. Looking to throw, it's Turner. Firing to the right, complete. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. When you're a defense, you have a choice. Do you play man or do you play zone? They sat back in zone. That might change. They might change their mind and try to switch to man here shortly in the future. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. He's got it and still on his feet. They make the stop at the five-yard line, but they've got it first and goal. 
That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. On first and goal, let's see what Louisiana Tech does. He wants to throw it. And he's on his way. He'll go all the way. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. And these guys just score from anywhere out there. After that drive, it sure looks that way. And that's what separates really good offenses from great offenses. When you're backed up in a bad position and you can still fight your way out and go get you a touchdown, that's a great drive by the offense. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. Knocked down right at the 25, and I guess he breaks even, bringing it out of the end zone. The Middle Tennessee offense will go back to work. He had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line. So they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, Dave. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. Big play to start this drive, and they're already out at the 48. It's first down. The give to the back. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Second down. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Rides to the back. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Looking to pass. It's Batiato. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. And I know most offensive coaches, they're going to be thrilled taking all these 50-50 shots against man coverage. I don't know, though, if they want to keep testing that defensive back. He has been on fire. And here comes the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. Here comes the Louisiana Tech offense back onto the field. They put it in the end zone the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to really take control of this game. You can feel the momentum shifting. If they were able to take the football here, drive it down the field, and score again, David, they would have all of that momentum on their side. And there's nothing about momentum that you can quantify. Like, I, I don't understand it, but once it gets going in one direction, a lot of times it's so hard to swing it back the other direction. The momentum is real, and they got it. Pulls it in. It's Davenport. And that play just looked to be a mess from the snap, and he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got it on the left. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. One of the first things I want to do when I come into a game is I'm going to go, where do I have the advantage? 
where are my guys better than yours? And maybe they feel good about their matchup out wide. Some of those wide receivers making some of these big plays down the field. This is a good sign for this offense. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Louisiana Tech is really moving the football. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Pulls it in. It's Jones. And they pick up just a few on that completion. So, Jesse, they're able to connect on the crossing route against the zone. You run that pattern against that coverage. What do you have to keep in mind? Well, the receiver needs to know where the soft spot is in the defense so he can gear himself down. And the quarterback, Reese, has to play with great timing. Because if he's too early or too late on the throw, that might get picked. Looking for a man. It's Turner. Floats it out in space. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play wide receiver basically for you. But you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. This offense looking at a third down after that last completion. From the gun, wants to pass. Finds his target down the middle. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. That's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Looking for space. It's Davenport. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. Gets it all the way down to the two-yard line. He was fighting for that end zone. It's so nice as an offense to know you can generate explosive plays by handing the football off to this guy. He has got incredible speed. After another clutch third down conversion, it's first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech! And that one will put him up here in the second half. You know what? Methuselah lived 969 years. He was born and died in the amount of time it took them to walk it down the field and score that touchdown. <laughs> That's just so frustrating. Play after play after play. You line up, you try to do your assignment, and you fail, and they cap it off with a touchdown? Oh, Methuselah. Ready to try the point the after. For the extra point. And with the extra point, they take a 21-17 lead. So an 82-yard drive there. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he's coming out of the end zone. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Let's see what the Blue Raider offense can get going. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They move the chains. They mark it at the 29. 
And watch the offensive line here. They all block and run. Because they're blocking run. The quarterback decides, oh, I got a favorable matchup. He dumps it out to the right, makes the right read, gets a nice positive game. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. He's going to pass. Grabbed in the middle. It's Stewart. Good, solid pick up on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside, probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. To the air, it's Vatiato. He's got him in the flat. They get him on the ground, and that'll be the final play of this third period. That's the end of the third quarter. We'll start the quarter off. It's about to snap it on second down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Now across the 50 and at the 48-yard line, they'll have it first and 10. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I tell you, they tried to go draw in the middle of the field. That back had nowhere to go with the football. He was tackled right away for a loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Now the play fake. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Back open in the middle. Still running at the 40. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. Off the play fake on first down. Fires to the right. A strike downfield. And he's brought down after a nice game. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. They've moved it into scoring territory. First and 10 from the 11. They'll try the run. Works his way ahead for about three. Ball it's down at the eight. Brought down at the eight yard line. Brings up second down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Back to pass. It's Battiato. Touchdown, Middle Tennessee. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. Needs this one to push the lead to a field goal. 
And it's good, and he's got the lead up to three late. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner will be brought down. Louisiana Tech has it back, and the offense comes out ready to go to work. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really sent it downfield. Pulls it in on the right. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. And that receiver had nobody around. That has got to be embarrassing for the defense. When you let someone that deep downfield go completely uncovered. After that huge play, they'll try to finish him off with another one. It's first and 10 from inside the 40. He's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle. It's Crawford. He's brought down solid. Pick up but a little bit short of the first down. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude. Get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. Looking downfield, it's Turner. It's complete on the right side. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. At the 14. First down for your Bulldogs. And the Bulldogs will snap it on first and 10. Takes the handoff. It's Davenport. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. From the gun, running back on the move. He works his way ever closer all down to the one-yard line. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. So now the opportunity with a touchdown to take the lead. Slams ahead. Touchdown, Bulldogs! They move on top here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. The Middle Tennessee offense will go back to work. The give on the inside. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. When those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Dropping back, it's Battiato. On the run, fires downfield. He's got him wide open. Then they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of a guy in that slot position. Out 
out of the shotgun. They go to the ground. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. He's looking to throw. Swings it out to the flat. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. How about the job and recognition by the defense? They knew exactly what they were trying to set up, and they had multiple defenders surrounding that intended target so that there was nowhere for him to go once he caught the ball. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Setting up the screen. Man, this defense is so athletic in their front seven. They're able to fight off the blocks on that third down screen play, make the tackle, now setting up fourth down. They bring the punter onto the field now. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Here comes the Louisiana Tech offense back onto the field. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? This is what got this team in this position to win this game. Aggressive offense, taking shots. Here we are in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. Why stop now? From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Grabbed over the middle, it's Jones. Stopped after making the catch. The defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy clock continues to run and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it to the air it's turner gets it out quickly and he's knocked down immediately but not before he moves the chains hey listen as a receiver you're running that hitch route against man coverage you can't loaf on it right i know it's just a little short throw but you've got to make the defender think you might be going deep so a nice job not just taking it easy on the play he put his foot in the ground he drove back to the ball and made it easy on his quarterback going up top on first down looking for a huge play got it in stride at the 15 and they finally get him stopped, but it's a big throw and catch, and he's down at the five. And, man, he had nobody around him. That has got to be embarrassing for this defense. When you let someone that deep downfield go completely uncovered. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. So this offense with an opportunity to put this game in a hammerlock if they can score and bleed the clock. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. At this point, the defense has little choice but to sell out to stop the run on second and seven. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Well, two things you're thinking about here offensively is, one, you want to take as much time off the clock, but two, you really want to score another touchdown to make this a two-possession game. You could almost ice it if you can find a way to get in the end zone here. Just take your time. Don't... And he's got it for the touchdown, and that one just might do it. You know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away.
The AT unit on the field. And the extra point is up and good, and they have an 11-point fourth quarter lead. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. The returner will field it and bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Let's see what the Blue Raider offense can get going. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yep. Snags it on the right. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. Yeah, and nice play by the QB, understanding when to get the ball out. This is a, something that I guarantee you, Palmer, you and your receivers did all the time at Florida, just the timing, knowing when the ball's coming out and when the ball's going to be thrown so I can go make a play. It's so important to rep it like that because you never know in games when those opportunities are going to happen. But I think that time, the quarterback pre-snap, him and the receiver, they made a little eye contact. They knew this was going to be an opportunity, and they went out and they executed what they practice every single day, what you just said, David, and it works to perfection. For the offense. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. He'll come out throwing on first down. Let's it fly. He's got it. Give him six and give them a chance with the lead touchdown still alive in this one. And listen, still a ways to go, but great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one-possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stopped? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. Now they'll try to get the two and make it a three-point game late. Looking to throw, it's Batiato. He's got it in the end zone for the two as they trim more off of that lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. Time is of the essence, just under a minute to go as they line up for the onside kick. Yeah, and this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time you, when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football. The first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is over. 